let's analyze the motion of the car illustrated by this graph. Remember, slopes are average velocities. So, let's look at interval A. Let's look at that slope right there. So, the velocity in A rise over the run, which is, let's look at the corner points. 40 meters minus 25 meters over 3 seconds minus 0 seconds. That is 15 meters over 3 seconds, which gives us 5.00 meters per second. That is a positive slope, and we got a positive answer, so it makes some sense. We can do the same for the other two intervals. When we look at the velocity in interval B, that is also the rise over the run. So we'll look at the slope between here and here. Well, let's see what you get. 10 meters minus 40 meters over 12 seconds minus 9 seconds. which is negative 30 meters over 3 seconds, which is negative 10 meters per second, which makes sense because we have a, the line that has a negative slope. We can now do the same for C, and when we find the slope between these two points, once again, by rise over the run, we should see that the velocity at C is negative 6.67 meters per second. If we want to find the velocity between 3 and 15, all we will do is this. At 3, you're at position 40, and at 15, you're at position 25. All we need is the slope of the line between those two points. So the velocity, which is an average, between 3 seconds and 15 seconds rise over the run again 25 meters minus 40 meters over 15 seconds minus 3 seconds which is negative 15 meters over 12 seconds or negative 1.25 meters per second. Once again, it makes sense because we have a negative slope. Before we do C, let's jump to D because all D is is, an, is a larger interval. It is very similar to B, except the interval runs from here to here. So over the entire interval, we just need the slope of that line. So V bar over that entire interval, five meters minus 25 meters over 18 seconds minus 0 seconds. So you have negative 20 meters over 18 seconds or negative 1.11 meters per second. Now back to part C. Average speed is not the slope of anything. To find average speed we have to go back to the definition which is average speed equals distance over time. So how do we find the distance? Each interval, we have to examine the distances. So what we can do is look in each of these lines and figure out how far you move. In that line, 15 meters. That line is zero meters. Where B is, the distance is 30 meters. Remember, it is a distance, not a displacement. It's how your odometer works. Then we have, in this little interval over here, 15 meters. In the last lined interval, we have 20 meters. So what we have to do is add up all of the intervals for each of those lines. And when you do, you get 80 meters 
it took 18 seconds to move those 80 meters and when you divide that out you get 4.44 meters per second notice again the large difference between average speeds and average velocities it's very important to remember that average speed is not the slope of a line that is only velocities.